The battlefield of the future will belong to unmanned vehicles. The reality of the war in Ukraine is the clearest proof of this. Over the years, China has successfully developed many respectable unmanned aerial vehicles, and it seems that tanks will also become unmanned vehicles. The Chinese military is said to be testing a remote-controlled manned battle tank to ensure the safety of the crew. At Air Show China 2022, the VT-5U unmanned light tank was officially revealed. The name of the tank, the VT-5U, suggests the VT-5 unmanned which is said to offer unmanned capabilities and remote control via a portable control or a drone. Overall, the new tank is similar to the standard VT-5 that was introduced in November 2016. The development of an unmanned control system is expected to significantly reduce casualties for the tank crew in the context of anti-tank weapons that are well developed and capable of defeating most modern armor vehicles. VT-5U retains the design and armament of the original VT-5 with a crew of three. The driver is seated in the forward center of the hull, while the gunner and commander are in the turret. Armament includes a 105mm rifle gun with a thermal sleeve and film extractor, which has a maximum firing range of 3000 meters. Along with that is an automatic reloading system. The ammunition selections include APFSDS, HIT, and HE rounds and gun launched ATGM. APF SDS and HIT rounds are used against enemy armor, while high explosive route is used against enemy infantry positions, light armor vehicles, buildings, and field fortifications. The APF SDS projectiles are capable of penetrating 500 mm of armor steel at 2000 meters. Other armament includes a QJT-88 5.8mm coaxial machine gun, a remotely controlled weapon station mounted on the turret roof, which is fitted with QLC-04 35mm automatic rally launcher and QJC-88 12.7mm heavy machine gun. As a new generation combat vehicle, the VT-5U is equipped with several observation systems, including three cameras mounted in the front of the hull and one at the rear. The turret is also equipped with four cameras, one in each corner of the turret. It is not yet known whether the VT-5U can operate in full automatic mode. In fact, the turret does not appear to be equipped with sensors and optics that allows on firing operations to be controlled. Mobility is the key factor of this new machine. It is intended mainly for reconnaissance and infantry support operations. It can operate in terrains such as mountainous areas, jungles, and river regions that are not accessible to heavy man battle tanks. It might be also used by airborne troops. Development of this new tank shows the high level of resources China is devoting towards its offensive capabilities. <laughs>